back to my channel if you're new here thanks for watching I'm Jalita and in today's video I'm going to be showing you an easy DIY on making waist beads now most people know what waist beads are but if you don't um, they're these little beads that I have on right now around my waist I'm going to stand up and show you how they look with me standing up but it's basically an accessory of like small beads on a string that you wear around your waist or your hips and it said that they kind of help shape your waist and they kind of help you with like weight loss and weight gain because if the beads are like getting tight and starting to ride up that lets you know that you're gaining a little bit of weight and if they start to fall and drop lower on your waist it lets you know that you're losing some weight so yeah basically um a lot of times you can order waist beads like pre-made, but they can get kind of expensive. I think I've even seen like sets online for like $30. So in this DIY, I just wanted to show you how to make them and how you could basically have your own and make as many as you want in an affordable way. So first I'm going to show you how they look with me standing up and then we'll get into how to make them. Okay, so this is me standing up, showing you the waist beads on my body. And of course, normally I don't wear this many. Like the most I wear at a time is probably like two or three, you know, maybe four, but definitely not this many. I just wanted to show you the different areas that they could fall. So more towards the top, this would be your more like your natural waistline. And then if you wanted a little bit lower than that, that would be called like high hip. And the lower, the lowest falling ones are should be right at your hip. So what you would have to do is figure out where you want them to fall on your body and measure that area. So like if you want it at your waistline, you know, you get the string or get you some measuring tape, measure your waistline so you'll know how long the string needs to be. Um, if you want it lower, you know, you measure it lower. So I like mine to fall at all different areas. So what I did was just, I did my lowest one first, like for the lowest I would want it to fall. And then once I measured that, all I did was like lay that on the floor and then like each string I did a little bit shorter than the one before. And so you also could like do your, your lowest one first then you could do like the highest place you would want it to be. You could do that second and space those out on the floor and all your ones in between, just put the length of the string in between the, the um, highest one and the lowest one. So then you could have them falling all at different levels on your body. So now I'm about to show you how to make them. It's like quick and easy. You don't have to pay someone else to do it. It's affordable. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. And also, I wanted to come back and say, when some people wear their waist beads, when they make them, they make them with elastic string, and they make them to where um, they don't come off. So that's one way you can make yours. But with me, I know I'm not going to wear them all the time. You know, like with certain clothes, they might not look right so i made mine to where they do come off so let me see if i can turn one of these around and show you so basically right here i have like the little closure that you like twist together to close it so that's what i put on all of mine so i could take them on and off i'm gonna go over with you what you need for your waist beads. I got all of my supplies at Michael's. Um, you could get your beads and stuff from any store. They were just, I went to Michael's because it had everything I needed. So you're going to need this string right here. I believe this was only like a dollar and something. And like I said, some people do use like elastic string. You can use that also, but mine, I knew I was going to be taking them off and on. And I think the elastic the elastic string is more so if you're going to keep them on all the time okay and then i got these little fasteners right here because it had the barrel class that i like and that i wanted to use um you're going to need the big eye beading needle 
and that's to put your string on and then like get the beads on the string really easy and then last you're gonna need some beads now of course you could pick any colors any type of beads they have a whole aisle of them i mean it's just it's so many beads but i just <laughs> picked the colors that i like and that i thought would look cute together so yeah that's everything you'll need Okay, so I got my string, I got it measured and everything. And remember I said when you measure it, you measure it around your waist to the spot that you want it to fall at. Make sure that you double the string. Like you don't wanna just measure one piece of string. You measure it, but you have it like doubled, like how I have this. And you wanna leave some like when you measure you wanna when you cut it you want to cut it a little bit longer because you want to leave some string for when you tie it off because you always you know you have to attach it to the clasp so you want to and you're gonna have to put knots in it so you want to do it a little bit longer so you can tie it off okay so now I have the clasp that I'm gonna use to tie it off and when you tie it off you tie it on the end where the strings is opened like you see how it's like split apart that's the end you tie it on but before you do that you want to get your beading needle and you're gonna have to like it's very these needles are very thin but you'll see like it kind of helps that I have these nails, but you can use anything. But the needles kind of like split apart. So you're going to open your needle up. And you put the string through the needle. And you're going to... Uh, see, sometimes the nails help. Sometimes they hurt. But anyway, you put it through the string. You only put one, one part through the needle. And then you're gonna like pull it all the way through. You're gonna pull it all the way. Is that creating a knot? No, okay. You're gonna keep pulling it all the way through. To that closed end. So your needle should look like that. So it's open, you slid one side of the string through, you pulled it all the way through, then you pull your needle like this, so the string goes to the bottom part of the needle, like that. And then the end part that's opened, see mine got a little bit uneven, so I can adjust it to make it even. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so now I adjusted my bottom part and made it even. That probably doesn't even matter, but sometimes I feel like I have like a mild case of OCD, so stuff like that bothers me. So anyway, now you have your needle through your string. You go all the way to the end of your string, and then that is when you put your clasp on if you're using one like me you tie it off you put it on here and then you tie it you know just knot it a couple times this may be difficult for me today because of the beautiful fingernails. Yep. I think I'm gonna have to get a tweezers. Cause... Yeah, I did it too. Okay, you could just do it at one time, but I wanna knot it like a couple times if I can.
so it's knotted on there so your end will look like this we'll cut this part off at the end but once we're done with the beads we're going to be knotting that part on the other side so you got that then you got your needle now all the beads that i have and i'm making another gold one because i know i wanted to another gold one so all the beads that i have they come you know all packaged together and they're already on a string and that makes this super easy because all you do is basically let me find the end because i already use this so i don't have to necessarily find the end of it but anyway they're already on a string so that makes this super easy so you just take your needle with your string that you already measured and you just go inside the beads and you pull your string with your end clasp all the way through. And then you just keep doing that over and over until it's, you know, as many beads as you want on there, until it's as long as you want. However, you do it like that. Put it in there, pull it through. So it's really easy like when you kind of use your fingers to guide it then you could get the most on there but also like be careful because even though this needle is very thin it still kind of like sticks you a little bit I mean it doesn't hurt that much but it definitely um, still kind of sticks you something like this this is the string with the rest of the beads this is your string and your needle and everything so what you're gonna do is get the other side of your string like that you first started because now you want to go ahead and connect your waist bead so you want to tie it off on that other end you remember you started with that on the end and then you started putting the beads on the string so this is the other, other end of it and you just put it through there, bring it down to where your beads are and then you're going to knot that. It might be a little difficult for me to do on here with these nails but I'm still going to try to do it. Okay, so then I just hold it right there like with my finger. Remember the needle is pretty bendable. So you just could kind of feed it through like that. And pull it out the other side. Hold that tight and just knot it together. And you do that a few times so you can make sure your knot is secure. After you do that a few times, then you're gonna cut this part off off you'll end up with your part that is the waist bead and then the two sides that's not so you're going to go ahead and cut those sides off the sides that are not connected to your waist bead you might want to do that over a bowl because a few of the beads may slide off when you cut it but I mean you can always like put them back on there before you tie it up so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side and this side because it's not connected to my um 
well I'm sorry this side and this side because it's not connected to my waist bead so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off and then I'll show you the finished product all of that off this is your finished waist bead and you can open it and close it to put it on and that's the finished waist bead and this was the extra beads that I tell you that fell off but you can slide them back on there and then tie that up and you you know save it for if you want to make another one so now you take this you put it on and then when you want to make more you can measure from this you don't even have to necessarily measure the string around your waist anymore you can measure from the one you just made so once you put it on you see where it's at on you if you want some that are um shorter that that would sit higher on you then you would make them a little shorter than this if you want some that are longer that will fall lower on your waist you make them longer than this so yeah you can measure it from your waist and you can measure it from this so now we're going to put this on and see how it looks okay so this is the one we just made so it sits at like a higher point on my waist it's shorter than all the other ones so yeah, like I said, you make one, you put it on, and then you judge, like if you want more that are longer or more that are shorter, then that way when you go to wear them, you can mix and match and just give yourself a different look each time. It came out really cute, just like the other ones. It was quick and easy. Um, also, like the method I use is good for if you want like solid bands or solid yeah, solid bands, but I know some people do like different designs with theirs. Like they'll probably do like a few gold and then like a long thing of black and a few gold. So you can use the same method that I did, but you will just have to take the beads off. You know what I'm saying? Like cut it each time, then add the black, then put the gold on like that. So you can also make different patterns and just mix and match them and just do it however you would like it. But yeah, I think all of these came out really great. Um, it was really easy, like I said, and that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. I hope you actually try it and make some yourself. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have some more DIYs coming up. And of course, they're affordable and they're cute. So yeah, you don't want to miss those. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.